the Epoch golf cart batteries now come with Bluetooth. If you've already purchased these batteries and it didn't come with a Bluetooth module, you can order it separately if you want real-time monitoring. The kits now come with this standard, so when you do buy a kit from Epoch, it will come with this Bluetooth module. Now, if you don't know, I love these batteries. These are the best batteries, in my opinion, on the market. All of the Epoch battery series are great batteries. I am hearing some rumblings that maybe in the future they're going to be coming out with some server rack style batteries for home energy storage. So look out for that in the near future. But for now, let's look at the golf cart batteries and how to hook up the Bluetooth module. So first, let's just talk about the batteries themselves. So one of these batteries here is a 48 volt battery all on its own. So you could literally drop just one of these batteries into your cart and you will run it. If you have more than one, you're gonna to wanna to hook them all up in parallel. You can hook this up the way I have here with all the positives connected together. And then this is gonna be your main positive and then connect all the negatives. And then this is gonna be your main negative. Or Epoch also in the kit provides a bus bar where you can run all the positives out to one location, all the negatives out to a separate location, and then use that as your positive and your negative. So to hook up for the Bluetooth module, it comes with this wire here, and I'm gonna go over that in a minute. But when you originally had your batteries, you may have had a gauge that gives you the percentage and usage, and you would connect that on one end. And then these cables here, these cables here, you would connect in between the batteries. So you'd have one here, and then a second one here, and a third one here. If you had a bank of four, if you had three, obviously you'd cut that down one. And then on the very end comes this resistor, which looks like this wire here. And this resistor just tells the batteries that this is the last one on the bank. So for the Bluetooth module, all you need to do is disconnect the gauge on one end and then you can see here we have it labeled battery. So we're gonna connect the battery cable, which now comes to the end of this one here, into the battery side. And then on the other side of the Bluetooth module, you can see we have gauge. So now this is the new location where the gauge is gonna hook up for your golf cart. And then also coming off of this wire, you can see we have a red wire and a black wire. So I have mine connected on the black on one end and the red on the other. And if you have the terminal block, then you can just connect it directly to the positive and negative on the terminal block bus bar. Okay, now that we've made our connections, what you can do is there's a double-sided sticky pad here. You can put this on the back of the device and then push that up against where you want to mount the device and put in some mounting screws. And then also in the packet, they give you some zip tie holders here and they give two of them and also some zip ties. So you can do wire management and clean this up a lot nicer. So now that we are connected, we can turn all the batteries on. And then go to your phone now Epoch has two separate apps. They have the regular Epoch app that works with their heated series batteries for trolling motors, their 12 volt batteries, a whole array of batteries. And then they have the Epoch Pro. So the Epoch Pro is what you're gonna wanna get in order to run the Bluetooth. So once you open up the Epoch Pro app, you're gonna get a screen like this. And this is different options for different batteries. We're gonna be looking at the Motive Power module. So we're gonna click that one at the bottom. Now it's gonna search. And you can see there, we have Roll2 videos because I've already renamed the Bluetooth module. So we're gonna click on that. And there you go. Now we have 61%. And you can see we have capacity 120 amp hours. And that's with the four batteries combined because they're 30 amp hours a piece. So with four of them, I have 120 amp hours. You got your voltage, your wattage in and out, temperature 24.5 and you can see there we have a 1s4p which means one in series so there's none in series and then four batteries in parallel which means all positives all negatives together and if we go up to the top right you can see details 
Now this shows each and every battery. And when you click on one, you can see all the different parameters. You can see all the different cell voltages. You can see the health of each battery. This battery here, I actually know is the new battery and it's a little bit lower. It's 49% state of charge. So I know that that 49% is this new battery and all the rest 64, 65, 67% are these three other batteries here. So, and then you can see, you can click on another one. This is the second battery in the row and it's at idle, perfect health, all the different cells. So something you may have noticed, the different percentages, it's been a little while since I've actually charged these batteries to full. Once they charge to full, they'll all even out and then they'll discharge and charge uh, with each other. Okay, so that's it. So that is the app, how to connect it, how to connect it to the batteries and you're off to the races. A uh, little bit more detail, let's get into it. So if you go under details, as you can tell, the batteries are just labeled 0697, uh, 0745. You may have completely different numbers. I tried to correspond those numbers with, let's say, the serial numbers on top, and I was unsuccessful. So a good way to figure out each and every battery on this list so the best way that I have found to figure out each individual battery is right off the bat, go out of the app and then turn every battery off and then wait a second and then turn on just one battery. So I can see that this battery has started blinking green. So we will try and connect to the app again. And you can see there we have roll two. So we will connect to it. And then once you bring the app up again, if we go to details, you can see it's only showing one battery, which is 1331, which is this one here. And this is the battery we have. So I could actually take a permanent marker and write it down on the cell. So now we are going to turn this battery off. And let's turn the second one on. Actually, we need to turn all batteries off and let the Bluetooth module rest for a second. And then we can turn on the second battery, make sure the app is closed down. And then once you see this light start flashing, we can go ahead and connect to the app again. Go down to the Bluetooth module. And then we'll go to details and you can see there 1482. So that is going to be this battery here that is powered up and then just do that through all the batteries. And then that way, when you connect to the, all the batteries, so I've turned all the batteries on now and we're going to reconnect to the app and we'll go to details. And now you can see there, they may have switched around a little bit, but now we know that 0697 is going to be this battery here. Then you can see 0745 is this one and so on and so forth. And there you go. It's just that simple to hook up these batteries to the Bluetooth module. And we can have a detailed picture of what each battery is doing. And we can see the whole entire bank as a whole, which is going to be great. So what I actually think I'm going to do is get a cell phone mount and mount my cell phone onto the dash and then actually use that instead of the gauge. The gauge I found was a little bit small to see. And if you have it far away, you got to really lean forward and look. So having that phone mounted on my dash is going to be amazing. If you have any questions about this, please reach out, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll leave links in the details of this video for the Bluetooth module itself, as well as for the kits. Have a look at them. You will not be disappointed if you decide to purchase these. Again, thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Bye.